What's up? Welcome back, or just welcome, according to the statistics. Nobody's showing back up, so hey, welcome. <laughs> if you watched the last video, we finished the carport, finished the vinyl roof in, caulked up the gaps. Uh, you know, I mean, it rained last night and it did pretty well, so hopefully it continues. We also, in that video, finished up the uh, roof of the lean to. It had already had the roof done on it, but I had to finish up that last gap there next to the, <clears throat> between the lean-to and the building. So that was where the most of my water was coming in. Hopefully we got that situation resolved. But this video has nothing to do with neither of those, so let's get to business. We got new tires, jacks and tools, all that jazz. We got a little car over in the yard that I pulled from my dad's back fence a couple months ago. Some, I don't know, no, it's not been, it's been mine for a couple months, but it hasn't been in my yard, but like two or three weeks, maybe something like that. <clears throat> We're just gonna, it needs tires bad. Those are like off the rim and everything. We're gonna go over there, take them, hopefully get them tires off, get these new ones on. Hopefully we can get it to roll and we'll pull that mug up here in the center portion of the carport here. That way it's not blocking either of the garage doors. All right, and here she is. Like I said, she is ugly. This is a 86 Dodge Lancer Turbo. As you can see, all of the wheels, or the, all the tires are off the wheels. It was horrible getting it over here. <clears throat> now if I got a spare, maybe I can find that other that fourth one in the trunk or something. And she's been rained in, that wind has been down. <clears throat> this car was actually, you know, I, I know this, you, you hear it all the time. It was running when I parked it. But this car was actually run when, running when it was parked. Oh, there's that other wheel. But this one was actually running when it was parked because my dad was driving it. This used to be my granny's many, many years ago. Somehow my dad ended up with it. And uh, it was a good running, driving little car, and he hit a ditch one day. Been a front, a lower, I think it was the lower control arm. Parked it, never done nothing else with it. And this, that's why she looks like this now. So it was parked in a fence line right over there behind them <clears throat> briars, blackberry briars and everything. You couldn't even see the car. Couldn't see it, couldn't see the Torino, the Ranchero, or my little Jeep that I got from over there. So, yeah. I mean, love him. He parks stuff for no reason, okay? Oh yeah, the Dodge. I got it from over there. <laughs> Pretty much anything that he is, uh, so I end up with buying from him eventually, it seems like. So, uh, but I think we're gonna jack this thing up, try to get a couple of these wheels off, try to get some new tires on, make this thing roll, and then uh, hopefully get it over there. And let me see about, may get the kids involved. Maybe they wanna run a pressure washer. How about that? We'll see here.
All right, so of course, I'm not gonna get as much done as I wanted to get done. Right now, I just got the last tire on. It's seated, but I'm just waiting on this little bit pump. Do all, it's can, all it can, it's on the, like the last last battery light, so I don't know if it's gonna get it there or not. It's already got about 20 something pounds in it though. It's the last one to go on the car. And apparently the storms are rolling it or moving in, you know what I mean? I got lightning 8.9 miles away. I'm getting this daggum wheel on this car though, okay? I'm just, what is on my, I mean, I'm getting this wheel on, just, just so you know. I wanted to pull the car over to the driveway, but I just don't know if that, one's, that part's gonna happen or not, so. But she's doing all she can. Boy, she looked like a four-wheel drive compared to what it was looking like when I first came over here. This has taken way too long. First one gave me a hard time, but every one after that has just gotten faster and faster. All right, so here's as far as we got it. I had to put that donut back on because that control arm has been so bad I couldn't even fit the new tire on there. I had to get my wife to drive the truck because that small donut kept uh, turning the wheels real bad and everything. So uh, I've got it jacked up a little bit right now. I'm gonna throw a uh, wheel dolly under it. And I might hook it. And I might hook the, uh, my strap to the back of it and see if I can get it closer to the shop. But right now I'm trying to throw these extension cords inside and grab a wheel dolly, so. I'll just make, hopefully I won't get struck by lightning then. Well, put that one donut on a wheel dolly hook the strap to it and we're getting there a little bit closer anyways but here comes the rain all right well this is as far as we got her or well as far as i got her i want her in that middle spot there but uh i don't go in right now to eat i think the wife might divorce me so I might need to go on in. Hopefully it don't rain too bad. And tomorrow I can at least get it back there and look it over a little bit. We'll catch y'all later. All right, and here we are back the next day. Just laid my baby girl down for a nap. And whew, this thing was rough. All right, so like I said, I had to uh, put that donut back on because my dad had hit, you know, like 24 years ago, hit a ditch, bent the control arm, and it definitely did because when I put that new tire on there, it was rubbing the back of the fender well there. She's, she's crusty got some surface rust, I even got a couple holes. 
all the way through there. She needs a bath bad. And the outside is nothing compared to the inside because that driver's window has been down for a long time. <laughs> and apparently it might have jacked up the... At least she jacked up that fender a little bit too. I don't know why I even bothered putting the tarp over last night. It ain't like it ain't been rained in for years. Whew, boy, if you could smell. This is terrible smell. This thing needs to air it out. There we go. Just a little stuck. Look, all I had to do was open the door and stuff already falling out. She's rough looking. Oh, dang, but them struts still holding strong after, I think that tag says 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. Struts still holding strong. Uh-oh, there's a bolt for something. AC compressor. Oh, filter intake. I'm sure a lot of these wires is completely jacked up. Where's that turbo at? I'm looking right over it. But yeah, guys, this uh, this thing has been sitting for like 24 years. Like I said, he hit a ditch, bent the control arm, had to throw the donut on it just to fit a tire on it, and got it home. I don't, I don't remember if he drove it or hauled it, whatever, but uh, it's been sitting in the field ever since. It ran fine. So hopefully we can get it back running again. I might just mug my work car if I can, if I can get it going again. But right now she's nasty and needs cleaning very bad. Honestly, I think I'm, I'd rather just go ahead and clean it before I even start messing with it too much. Otherwise, that thing, thing smells rough. Probably gonna let it air out a few minutes too, if I'm just gonna be honest with you. You know, it sure is nice having a second garbage can every now and then. I guess since there's less back here, I'll just start at the back. Definitely grab the glove too. What's that? Wheel seals. What's for this? Yeah, can you see in there? It's kind of hard to see in there. 
but that seal is all dried up. And when it moves, it flops it back and forth. I'm pretty sure that was what that crunching noise was. Like that right there, actually. don't like is apparently she don't latch anymore so I might release semi aids hmm. says remote release disengage Enga oh it was disengaged does that mean I don't know. Whatever. We're getting all the big stuff right now, then I'll come back with a shot back. Right. Yeah, something been living in here. trying to block the wind but i don't know how much it'll help like i said i'm getting all the big stuff out right now got them cleaned out and grooves well, i guess back in the day even in 86 every kid had their own ashtray she's about ready for a good vacuuming inside now Oh, the dag gum. Yes, cap popper even worked. She's starting to smell a little bit better just because it's aired out. So, <laughs> thank the Lord. Oh Lord, I didn't even open that. Oh my. Yeah, I didn't come back around here. Ooh, I like that little cup holder there. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I was about to go under the hood and start clearing some of that out. And then I remembered to pop open the glove compartment. There's a little panel for somewhere. I'm trying to keep any plastic piece like that that goes to the car just in case I might be able to get it back attached somewhere or another. found a couple little gems already. One of daddy's old uh, Bibles. My dad's a preacher. I ain't never done that about that, but he's a preacher and I found one of his Bibles. So I'll make sure I try to clean that up for him and get that back to him. Just feel 
fuel. Might as well just take that battery out. And... Boy, it's close enough. There we go. You gonna work for me too? Maybe not. No. I'm really worried about some of these wires in here. So we got a got a good bit of it out anyways. There's still a little bit I'll have to uh poke at that's up under stuff like it down in there. And right around here is packed in pretty tight. I'll probably take that battery out and maybe an intake tube and be able to get that some up back in there. All right, so here we are. Obviously, she ain't gonna be perfect, but this is a million times better than it was. And all I've done is take the big stuff out and give it a good vacuum. It could use some carpet cleaned and, you know, maybe even completely ripped out, who knows. That, like I said, that window had been down. I actually pull, pulled that up further a while back. So this thing, especially on that side, has had a lot of water come in on that seat. So even if I was to get this thing going, I'd probably take that seat out and not use it and just throw a random other one in. But I didn't get this great in here either, but I did vacuum out some that I couldn't get with my hands earlier. I'm about to hit this thing with a pressure washer. Go ahead and hit them door jams while I'm at it. I mean, it's been rained in that long, or this long. I don't see what a little pressure washing a little bit towards the outside it was gonna do. Uh, this was not locked earlier, and I just put it down because I wasn't gonna pressure wash in there. And then for this clip, I was gonna show how clean I got it in there compared to what it was, but uh, she don't wanna come open now, so we'll have to see about that another time. But she's a million times better than she was. All right, well, after an hour or so, there she is. Looks a million times better, but still don't look great. All I did was pressure wash it, no scrubbing or anything involved. But now that I got all the big stuff off of it, I'm sure she could use a good scrubbing hand wash now, so. Not too bad from where she came. That looks, that ain't great either, but a million times better. I'll end up vacuuming it out again. Wiping down door panels, dash, plastic, stuff like that. But once again, I am out of time and it is time for me to put everything up and rush off for Tyler's ball game. So catch y'all later.
Look at there, we got her moved.